Hi everyone, welcome to the Timto channel and this is my take on the Ragnarok Mobile Monster Lab. So basically this uh, uh, this is a new uh, feature from uh, from the uh, Ragnarok Mobile. Uh, this has just been up since uh, last week. I think it was Wednesday or Thursday last week where they included the uh, the Monster Lab wherein you could be able to get a lot of experience uh, from a certain event and um, it would uh, it would only just cost you 10 minutes of stamina I mean sorry it would be running for about 10 minutes and you could do this three times so that would be approximately 30 minutes but each event or each try that you would run the uh, the mon mo monster lab uh, it would cost you 60 minutes of your stamina so if you're running on a 300 uh, minute stamina so it would automatically cost you 180 uh, I this uh, I guess uh, this would be good or very good for for people that um, would not have a lot of time playing so that they would be able to catch up and um, uh, be able to to run things faster so uh, this would be uh, uh, you could still uh, if you're still uh, busy or something uh, and would not be able to grind you could add the monster lab in um, coordination with your um, uh, what we call this the adventure book for for your pets so um, now I will show you how you would be able to to run this um, usually for each town you would be able to see this uh, ecological um, uh, I think it's inventory um, or um, just talk to the uh, the NPC it would uh, say something about the uh, the monster lab all you have to do is tell her that you're uh, interested and then the next thing that you would talk to her is it would ask you if you'd want to go to the monster lab and this is what you will see it's a map wherein uh, there would be certain um, uh, what you call this uh, like icons where it would show certain levels at the bottom so it starts with 1 to 40 uh, 40 to 65 35 to 45 uh, usually there would be three three bases or three icons that would be near your 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 level or your base level so if you're for example you're 90 uh, you would be able to run something like 80 to 89 9, um, 19 to 99 and uh, there would be another for about 100 uh, so uh, I don't have it completed here as this character is just level uh, 97 I guess uh, 96 okay so um, to maximize uh, it would be best to to maximize the experience I mean uh, the use of the man monster lab you need to run a um, uh, a specific monster lab level that would be near your level okay um, so let's just run this once uh, let's try uh, for the first run let's try um, 80 to 89 um, Okay, matchmaking if you're not in a party uh, you would automatically be included in a party uh, the matchmaking process is that it looks for other people that would be running the monster lab uh, it might take a while if there are no people running that specific level uh, another thing is that if you're in a party um, for if you're in a party and then um, you have level gaps for your party members uh, you would not be able to run the um, higher levels if you have a low level um, party member okay so this has already matched us 
with cer several people so you just click on ready it's just like with ET all you have to do is to join the party or, or click on the let's go that's for the the ET or the endless tower so initially you would have a uh, an item shop here wherein you could purchase uh, certain items that would be able to assist you with with hunting but uh, usually you just go with the um, uh, with auto attack um, just auto attack everything uh, you should have the uh, your skills in the automatic auto skill set to to be placed properly so that it would run it but the thing is uh, like this one uh, everyone is cramped up in one place it would be best if party members would try to try to move to a specific place um, away from each other so that you would be able to maximize the uh, uh, gr uh, the group hunt so uh, so that it would be easier even though if that party member would not be able to one hit each mob uh, it's just okay as long as he would be able to clear it uh, that would be faster and another thing is that for for example like this one I've already finished uh, my area uh, try to fly wing to another or move to another area that has not been uh, cleaned up yet uh, because a lot of you uh, the problem here is that when they do the matchmaking you don't know who the people they're um, uh, getting into uh, I mean getting into the uh, the party so there are party members that's just AFK or just standing there or uh, it's really doing nothing so that would really hurt your score um, as you can see here we still have eight minutes uh, if you look on the right side and then I have temporary credits um, these credits uh, would be permanent um, if I don't use it within this match and these credits are the credits that you would use for uh, for purchasing in the inventory shop in inside the uh, the monster lab okay okay so I'll just have to run this uh, uh, this one as it would take a while and uh, be right back with you uh, before the uh, the monster lab uh, event would would be finished okay so we're less than a minute now so if you would be able to see the temporary credits uh, that would also some sort correspond to your score if you guys did well with the uh, with the monster lab so basically I think um, our team here would not be able to finish monster lab but still even though if you don't finish monster lab you will still get okay it just leveled up uh, you would still get a, uh, a good um, base and job experience from this okay so uh, as you can see um, it, it has been done so I'm getting 3 million uh, 3 million job experience and 5 million uh, base experience and with some minimal uh, items here so and it would automatically close or get you out in uh, 30 seconds so let's just click on confirm so that would automatically um, uh, kick us out of the, uh, the instance okay I would try to leave the party so that I could automatically set another one okay this time I will be trying the uh, the one that would be fit for for my level um, as you would be able to recall I think I, I did around 350 credits or score so and I I got uh, 3 million uh, job and 5 million uh, base experience okay so let's do a matchmaking okay uh, it's faster so let's wait for us 
for everyone to join oh that guy's not joining might be a afk most probably he's afk okay it's trying to do another matchmaking oh no it, it proceeded okay so we'll try to see um i'll try to get a spot far from the others i have myself on auto attack and okay it's running right now as you can see we just finished one um what you call this one uh, instance for the uh monster lab uh okay it just won't show as there's uh it says a kill monsters but um if you'd be able to see here it says that combat time or my my stamina would be 60 over 900 so um, I haven't used this character that's why it's in 900 uh, minutes but anyway uh, I just finished the uh, the 10 minute instance for the monster lab and it cost me 60 minutes for my stamina so it would uh, consuming three would get me uh, 180 minutes for this one so I'll just let this run first um try to uh maximize uh, i mean try to to kill as much as i can and uh we'll see uh later on um the uh the experience that i would get this time and uh, basing it with the score and i uh, i guess i'm guessing with the number of kills i would have uh the same number of kills as the one a while ago but um uh we'll see we are down to our um, last 20 seconds. Uh -huh. And right now I'm having a better score than what I had previously. But this level is somewhat uh, higher or more appropriate to my level okay so we'll see as you can see here it's giving us four million almost five million for the job level and an eight million level uh, base level uh experience so uh, in my experience uh though yeah it, it did had a better score than the one previously but based from my experience uh those lower level uh instance or events in the monster lab does only give you a smaller um, job in base levels I guess it still coincides with the uh, with the mobs or the uh, the monsters that you're trying to kill um, so the the higher the level of the monster the higher uh, the uh, the experience it's going to give you so uh, if I were you stick to the um, to the highest um monster level instance or mo monster lab level instance that you would be able to get into um so that you would be able to maximize your uh the experience that you would be getting from uh from the monster lab so uh, i guess that would be my take on the uh, the monster lab for ragnarok mobile it's really good in getting experience um but just make sure that you would be using the uh, the level the highest level or possible level that you would be able to to get from the instance or um, basically the instance that would fit your job or uh, base level and um, but the problem here with monster lab you didn't don't get that much um, items there's no loots uh, there's there's loots but uh, it's very minimal and uh, no zenny or mon uh, you don't get any um, zenny from each instance so that would be the bad thing about this one um, but if you're just into uh, just to catch up just into catching up with the other players uh, it's best for you to run this uh, instance three times a day okay so uh, if you learned something from, uh, from this video, please do like and subscribe.